Hello. Hi. Sorry about that. Sorry for my absence, bit of a prolonged one. Um, I've decided to do a bit of a rejig of my content across all platforms. And so this video every month is going to change slightly. Not much. Don't worry. I think it will be for the better. I just want to incorporate a couple of different things into it. And so it's now monthly favourites with a bit of a life update. I just want to do an end of the month roundup on everything that has tickled my fancy. Okay, so a few beauty favourites and then I'll do a little life update or some months it might be the other way around. Now listen, yesterday my face and my hands were a totally different colour to the point where I'd filmed a video and I didn't put it up because to be quite frank it was it was a glaring difference and it looked really funny and it's for Instagram so my hands looked like they didn't belong to me. Because I now normally, uh, if I'm going to be in any kind of sun, let's say I'm gardening, I will have a big hat on. My face very rarely sees much sun at all whereas the rest of me goes brown really really quickly and so every summer now it's becoming more and more of a problem as I get less and less sun on my face. And I always sort of forget to, to balance it out. So last night I tried something new, which could actually be my first favourite. Why not? Let's kill two birds with one stone. I cracked open this, which is from Tanlux. It's the Super Glow Night Repair System. It's a duo. Don't know whether you can get these things separately. I'll have a look. But it comes with to be honest, it's this, it's the elixir that I really want to talk about because this has got the fake tanny stuff in. The oil was nice, goes on over the top, but really, I don't know what's so special about that that makes it work so well. I love the um, Tamlux stuff already, those little drops that are like a silky sort of oil. However, I felt like this was slightly different, this. It's like a, a gel serum. And I found it really, really easy and pleasant to use. It dried very quickly. Um, it felt like I only had to wait sort of not even a minute before I applied the oil on top. But obviously, again, you could use your moisturiser or whatever it is that you're using. And I just thought it was a little bit different because so far all of the gradual tan stuff that I've used for my face has been drops. And you either apply them neat or you mix them to something. And they have varying levels of foolproofness. And I have had a few accidents. In fact, with the Tan Lux one, is the one that I normally go a bit over the top with. This one woke up with a very, very tanned face, but it looked really, really natural. Or I hope it looks natural. I mean, it was a good whack of a foundation shade darker, you know? So, I also had to crack out a summer foundation because used to my skin being pretty much the same colour all year round and not really taking into account that body and face difference which you should because actually I have realised from watching myself on camera that it does it can look quite odd maybe if you're not on camera all the time it doesn't matter who gives two figs but if you're editing and stuff like that you just notice this stuff and you think oh for god's sake come on so I cracked out my summer shade and I only have a summer shade in one foundation which is the L'Oreal True Match super blendable foundation and I use this in 3D stroke 3W which is beige gold beige golden beige and I think it's a really nice combo but I feel like it's a tricky one when you're balancing out body with face you can't really just go in with a, a darker foundation I don't think that works I think you get a much more believable and natural effect by first doing your gradual tanner taking it up as much as you can in colour that doesn't look crazy. I mean my face is still not the same colour as my body and hands. Um, in fact it's slightly more yellow toned really because of the foundation but it's better than it was. I'm hiding in here by the way, I know I don't normally film in here because it's pretty much the only place I can film without getting interrupted and it's a little bit more um, quiet than the rest of the house at the moment. My second thing is a fragrance, staying on the summer theme. And it is the Guerlain Natari de Sole. Is that how you say it? From Guerlain. It's pretty new. 
they come in, uh, it's the Aqua Allegoria range and they come in these beautiful bottles. Galan are all about bees, aren't they? And I think there's something sort of beehive-y or honeycomb-y about this. Maybe a bit of both. Anyway, the reason I love this so much is that it's the closest fragrance I've found so far, and it's not actually even that similar, to this from L'Occitane, which got discontinued about 10 years ago. It was only ever a special edition, and it's called Clonk. Clonk. And for me, this is summer perfume perfection, right? This perfume, I've written about it loads before. I just wish that they would bring it back because I think it would do so well. It smells like the sea, but not in a sewerage, seaweed, bleh, kind of sea. Everything that's good about the beach and the sea. And it's not overly like um, one of those bronze goddessy ones that's coconutty, exotic. It's very, it's just really low key. It's like a really low key, casual perfume. It smells absolutely like the ocean. That's the only way I can describe it. And we're not talking um, Davidoff cool water. <laughs> Remember that? Do they still make that? Oh my God, all the boys in sick form had Davidoff cool water, didn't they? Or dupe, the pink dupe. So anyway, they don't make this anymore, and this is like my precious half bottle that I just treasure. I keep this wrapped up in bubble wrap in a little pouch because I don't ever wear it because I just like to go back and, and just smell it. That's how much I love it. Please bring it back, lots of time. Anyway, this by Guerlain has... Oh, okay, I'll tell you what it is. It's this, which is the centre of the sea, and then it's got some heady sort of white florals, which are quite, they're quite powerful, but this still comes through. So it's almost like a mixture of a floral perfume and half of this. Now this is, I'm not sure whether it is salon only. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I get my hard gels done on a regular basis at a salon in Bath. They've started using this new salon brand for their top coats, so I still get the hard gels underneath. It's not, it's different to the gels that you can sort of soak off. They have to be um, drilled off. I mean, I'm on week five, I think, with these, and they're just perfect, it's amazing. And they're called, this brand, the Gel Bottle, I think. I have to look it up. Anyway, this color is called Hubba Bubba, and I think it's really, really nice. It's very pale, isn't it? There we go, had to change the battery. My fourth thing, check this out. I thought this was so good. Now obviously it's pricey, but if you were really into your home fragrancing and your essential oils, I would say that this would make a very, very good investment. You could probably have it for life, unless you've got kids or pets who will probably knock it over and smash it to smithereens. Look at this, it's an essential oil diffuser and it's from Aromatherapy Associates, who I personally think make the best blends of essential oils for the bath and for the air. I don't know why I'm talking like this. It's because I do actually. It's because I keep thinking that a builder's going to appear behind me and I'm on, I'm on sort of red alert. Do you know what I mean? For having to answer questions. And also I always get really embarrassed if someone sees me filming, so I feel like I'm being cautious. Anyway. They've made this um, oil diffuser, but it doesn't require any lighting of tea lights, doesn't require any water. You, it's really, really clever. So the bottle, your Aromatherapy Associates blend bottle, just slots straight into here. And then this goes on top. You can either use it plugged in or you can charge it up and take it around the house. And I'm just, it's really, really heavy. It's beautifully made. It looks really attractive and it's no fuss. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's safe and there's no faffing around. And so if you are really into that kind of stuff, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a good product, isn't it? Can you see that puffing out at the top? What was my fifth thing before we go on a, ah! Oh! downstairs. Right, this is a really good opportunity to tell you what's been going on, okay? So this is the life update bit. Now, oh, it started up again. It's wafting at me. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, which you should, you won't know that I have been having 
the bathroom's renovated and everywhere is just a complete mess, very, very dusty. Um, I'll take you for a little tour, hold on. So we've got the tiles almost done in here. This is my, oh, this is an ensuite, which we don't have actually. It's in my little girl's room. Hello. And this bathroom here, I mean, you really just need to follow on Instagram, is being knocked through into this bathroom, which is... Hi, Dex. Where I was just filming, which now smells beautiful. Uh, it's through there. And that's one of the reasons we're knocking them together, because it's just ridiculous accessing this through another room. It means that this... My temporary office is a bit of a corridor, really, and it will look amazing when it's knocked through into the other one. So really excited about that, but we can't start these until we finish the other two. Mm. Right. Uh, okay. No swearing. No swearing. We tiled, nearly done. Just need a loo and a sink. We're, we're top to bottom yeah. residential in these buildings. Nice. Hi, Mr. Bear. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Is that smell relaxing you from the deep relax? No? Where are you going? Are you relaxed? Are you relaxed? You relaxed? Oh, it is actually very, very fragrant in here. I don't know, what have I done to my tripod? Bear with. It's not going to work, is it? I need a new tripod. I need one that's like a gorilla pod. You know, those bendy legged ones, but just a bit taller. They must do one. I'm going to Google in a second. So that's what's been going on downstairs. Uh, have I got a little before video? I might have a little before video, you can take a look at it. It just needs generally updating and it had the tiniest shower cubicle, I mean ridiculous. It was so small in there that you couldn't move your elbows to wash your hair. So I designed a sort of re a shower recess, like a nook, um, and it looks lovely, really pleased with it. But you need to go to Casa Crilly to get full, it's not finished yet so that's why I haven't done any particular videos or anything about it. If you go to Casa Crilly, I do all of my updates there. Fifth thing, do you know, as time goes on, especially with the kids, I'm really, really getting quite drawn to sunscreens that you can spray on liberally, obviously. You can't just do a quick spritz with these things. You need to make sure you've got the full coverage. You just spray on, they're not messy, you don't get loads of cream under your fingernails and all over their clothes and in their hair and in your own hair and whatever. And um, it's just quick, you know, and convenient. And one of my favourites is the Sun Bum. Looks like this. They do it in SPF 30 and SPF 50. I also very much like, um, there are loads of people that do them in varyingly successful forms. That is the essential oil thing, by the way, that keeps coming on, if you can hear a buzzing noise. Um, but this is, I think this is one of the best that I've used. I just think, I can't think of anything bad about it, you know? I'm sure there was something else I wanted to tell you about this, in this monthly favourites. It was mostly tiles. I had such fun picking tiles for the bathroom because the rest of the house is sort of going to be, you know, there's real themes going through it, like this really sort of rich coloured wood that you can see everywhere, and um, haven't decorated any of the walls yet because we're waiting for the windows to be changed, some of the windows to be changed, the ones that need changing. The rest, we are getting resprayed. It's aluminium. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, in the bathrooms, I thought, let's have a bit of fun. You know, little bijou boxes of colour and pattern and texture. So I went with, um, there's quite a lot of terrazzo going on. But again, 
go to Casa Crilly and find out more because it's all going on over there, or it will be when I remember to do a post. So that's it for June. Favourites, stroke life update, stroke house update. Uh, it's not really a house update, so I'm just giving you a whiz around the bathrooms, but actually there's not a lot else going on at the moment. We're waiting for some planning permission to come through. We're waiting on um, some Windows people to get back to me, and they're generally just useless. And we are waiting on what else? Our plumber, who's coming to change a load of radiators. And then we can choose some wallpaper and decorate and stuff, which will be quite good fun. I am waffling on more than I've ever waffled, I think, in my entire YouTube career. <laughs> so I'm going to go now. But, um, yeah, more details down below. And I shall see you in the next video. Let's see if I can turn this off in a sophisticated manner. No.